let's talk a little bit more about the actual challenge itself. Uh, there is a boundary. I said it before, but I'll say it one more time. When we create this, we don't want any recognizable things, as in like a teddy bear or a plant or a chair, things that are recognizable in that way. Uh, things that are like the polygonal solids or sorry, the polygonal solids like a cube or a cone or a cylinder, that's fine. In fact, that's where we're going to stay. But um, we wouldn't even want to organize those to make like a smiley face or uh, like a I had one student once make a dream catcher because they just had to make something recognizable. But I try to stay away from making anything recognizable for this challenge. And eventually you're going to do a screenshot or a render in either render engine. Um, that's just an HD render. That's how that's the output for this challenge. And when you're done with it, you will get a little um, image of a space station and that just represents that you're done with that challenge and you're ready to go on to challenge two which is a shuttle approaching a planet okay so that is kind of how we track things and i'll be seeing all of that so first things first let's say you're alone and you want to use this knowledge and know-how without me here so navigating 3d space is what we just started to talk about but we actually haven't navigated anything i just gave you a little introduction and in what the user interface was but when you click on this it's going to take you to a youtube channel i'm going to mute this because we don't necessarily need to hear it um, and i'm just going to make it theater mode and what's cool is some of these go directly to the moment that I think is pretty important. I would love it if you told me if there was something that wasn't working or if you found a better tutorial. But these are the like lovingly filtered, lovingly curated tutorials that I've been uh, sharing with students for a long time. Now, one thing you might have noticed is that this is a tutorial for a earlier version of Blender. For the most part, Blender is just adding on to things and some of these basic tutorials, especially in the beginning, it doesn't matter if it's an older tutorial. If it looks different, that means it's before Blender 2.8, that's gonna be a problem. You wouldn't wanna do any tutorials when the actual application looks completely different, but anything 2.8 and above is gonna give you what you need. It might be 2.7 and above, but I'm not 100% sure. Either way, you can see that you can just kind of click through and see how this tutorial is navigating the space. We've all, as adults, learned how to teach ourselves something. So me personally, I don't mind just having it on a times two speed and then using my arrows to arrow forward and back uh, if I want to see something quicker or slower and just kind of skimming across the tutorial. Like you can see where a lot of people are looking. That's going to probably be pay dirt on a specific spot. And so this is going to be the tutorial that you can watch when you, when I'm not around. But now that I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the ways that I navigate around the space.